Heather with Heather Abbott Photography and I just wanted to review this um, Cheeky Lime classic camera bag. Um, when I ordered it, I really wasn't sure what I was going to get. I had some friends um, say how much they love the bag and I went online and looked at the pictures and um, couldn't find any video on the bag. Um, so I really wasn't totally sure exactly what it was going to look like, but since some of the other photographer friends said they really loved it, I thought I'd give it a shot, especially given that it was only $98 which is pretty inexpensive for a camera bag. Um, when I got it yesterday, I was super impressed. Um, the amount of gear that this bag holds and all the little pockets to keep everything organized makes my OCD personality really happy. Um, this would be great for a photographer or just even a, a mom who wants to bring her gear with her, um, just like her little DSLR and maybe just put some snacks in here. Um, and for $98, I mean, it's really good just for anybody. Um, so I just wanted to go do a video review of it so you guys can see what it looks like because I feel like the pictures online don't really give it the justice it deserves. Um, so here's the front pocket and you can see it's not too big but it's enough to fit like a small wallet. I keep in here my checkbook and my driver's license, it's already in there, and my, um, my square card reader. So that just goes right there in the front, and I could fit a whole lot more. Um, moms, you could put wallet, keys, things like that in there. The side pockets, right here, they're pretty small and they're tight. They don't open up too much, um, but they're good to put just little things in there. I keep my, my white balance card in there, so I just fold it up, and it fits perfectly in that side pouch. And so I use that for that pouch. And then there's another one on the other side. And right here I have the cap for my Nikon D700. You could put any little knickknack in there. Um, oh, also in this front pocket, I forgot, I do keep my lens pen to clean my lenses. Then when you, oh, also, I forgot, there's another pocket on the back side. Um, it's small, but again, you could put a little bit of cash in there, um, maybe like a granola bar or something small. When you open it up, I love this feature. It's like a one hand open, so it's got this loop and you pull, and it opens the whole thing. And you look inside, and there's lots of pockets. I've already went ahead and divided it in the way that I like it. Um, according to my gear, it actually came with more of these dividers, but I didn't need them all. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what I can fit inside this bag. So right here is my Nikon D700 with an 85 attached. And I put that right here in the middle. You can see it fitting in there. Then I have my um, Nikon 24-70. And I stick that in here. Now, I can fit it in there with the lens hood attached, but it's really tight. Um, it fits, but it is a tight squeeze um, with the 24 to 70, but it does fit in there okay. If I push the divider over a little bit more, it would fit even better. I just have a, enough gear that I need to keep as much space as I can. Um, and then I also put my SB600 flash in there. And that fits in there really nice. Okay. And I also have my rocket blower. And I just stick that in the side right there next to this cool little pouch that comes with the, the um, camera bag. And you open it up. And what I put in here is my um, extra external CF uh, cards and scan discs. I stick that in there. Put that right in there. Just put everything in there so far. We've got the D700, 24 to 70, um, external flash, rocket blower, and cards. Now, my 70 to 200 is really big. Um, I tried fitting in there upright, and it does fit in upright, but not really with the external hood, or the, the hood. I took that off um, for when I'm carrying my bag, but I just, I did, was able to stick it in there, but as you can see, it was a little tough. But, um, as I said, I usually take mine off. So I stick it in there, and it can stand upright, but you can see that it's kind of tall for it. It does close, but I mean, I don't like how hard I have to work to get it closed. You can see it's going to take me a little bit of time to get it working. So 
with the Nikon 7200, I have to actually kind of lay it on its side a little bit in order for it to fit. So I lay it on the side just like that. And then I can close the back. Okay, um, and then one of my favorite parts of this bag, on this side, might be hard to see, but there's all these little small compartments to hold more gear. So in here, I keep my flashes. And my remote and trigger. And clip it Velcro shut and close it all. And the whole bag is ready to go. Okay. So I've got all of this in here. My D700, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, my external flash, batteries, cards. Um, Goodness, what else? The white balance card, um, the rocket blower, CF cards. I mean, just tons of stuff. Um, and it's just, I cannot believe how much stuff it has. And I just love all the individual pockets. Um, it is a little bit of a wider bag. So if you don't like a wide bag, this might not be the, the bag for you. But um, it does not bother me. And also, this is not like really important, but I love this little cute attachment. It's this adorable little keychain that um, comes with the camera. It's just super cute and just something that was a little extra for me that made the bag a little extra special. My three-year-old thinks that this is adorable and she's constantly putting it up to her eyes and taking little pictures, which I think is so cute. Um, so again, I think this is a great bag, especially for $98 um, for photographers, moms who just want to carry their gear and some snacks and whatever. It's very versatile and I love all the pockets. So I would highly recommend it. All right, well, thanks for visiting Heather Record Photography.